Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In the comments to a video a while back, somebody had asked me to release the Max tank. This is the tank for the Max space plane, which is what we have back here. It is a very unique tank, and I'm sorry I didn't get to this earlier. I don't even understand why I didn't release the tank when I released the space plane. Um, it is a very hefty model space plane, and I don't think I finished testing out the aerodynamics of it, so maybe that was the reason. But yeah, I don't I don't know why I didn't release the tank at the same time, but I will this time uh, for this video. It'll be in the video description, so it'll be both the space plane and the tank. So uh, if you pick it up, you should delete your original files if you had them. But the Max space plane was a Soviet shuttle design, a mini shuttle. Uh, very small, had these unique RD-704 engines that will come with it. Uh, they had two modes. They had a kerosene hydrogen oxygen mode and then just a hydrogen oxygen mode. The first mode being for extra thrust but lower efficiency and the second mode just for the efficiency. And so the tank had to have all three propellants and so we see those here in the correct mix hopefully though uh, details can be lacking. Uh, but we have it here and I want to test it out again, but of course we had previously tested it out with the AN-225 Which is what it would normally have launched on, but that is a pain <laughs> It is uh, as much as I like the AN-225. It's actually very annoying to launch Max on it And so this time we are going to use the Orion carrier plane The benefit of the Orion carrier plane except for it getting very fast and therefore being able to impart much more Delta V to the Max space plane than the AN-225 could, is also the fact that it separates from the Max space plane at a higher altitude, in fact, in space. So by separating in space, we don't have any possible possibility of a collision between them, and we can leisurely start up the space plane without worrying about it flipping out because it's really close to the speed of sound. So yeah, yeah, that, that, that sounds good to me. So the question is, where will this get to? Now, this is a very heavy payload for the Orion carrier plane, and maybe we will either have to stick extra engines on it, or we are going to have to reduce the amount of propellant in the fuel tank here. The Delta V is not being read here correctly at all, as usual. So we can't really tell what even the thrust to weight ratio is off the pad. Maybe it's 1.3, I don't know. But the normal payload for the Orion carrier plane is about 150 tons, right? It's the first stage, that would be the second stage plus the payload is 150 tons. This is 275 tons, it's 247 tons for a tank, and the rest is the space plane, about 28 tons. So 275 tons compared to the normal thing for the Orion carrier plane being 150. So it's definitely not getting as far as it ought that it will need to get to land at Cape Canaveral, which is why I fitted with jet engines. And I've decided to go with four. These are NK89 uh, methane burning turbofans. They were a real engine that used methane, so that's why I've gone with them. And we have some extra methane here for them. And we'll and probably that's the Delta V that's reading right there actually. Anyway, so we have the Rex engines there. Let's take it out to the pad and see where we get with it. It's entirely possible that there's too much to get off the ground with, or any number of problems could occur. For instance, the balance could be thrown off. Maybe it is too heavy for the engines to when the propellant is diminished on the Orion carrier plane side for the engines to point through the center of mass. So then it'll flip out. So looking for all of that right now. Throttle up, SAS on, ignition, and launch. Well, we do have sort of a sidestep going on here, don't we? But we did go up. That's good. It's a positive. I've tried to import in the textures from 1.12, the real visual enhancements textures, the higher quality ones into 1.8.1. Now of course that's not what we have here, that's the Boca Chica landscape that I created before, but uh, that's the reason why this landscape is a little bit higher up than it ought to be. Normally it was lower down and that's because I've changed the textures. 
course this combined system would be quite a thing to handle it's got methane oxygen engines and then a kerosene hydrogen oxygen thing so it's got all three of the common fuels so far so good though okay off and we actually are at 180 roll right now and we need to roll Hopefully it'll maintain its balance, that's not a guarantee. Okay, we finished the roll. Now, my normal sort of sense of when to switch off is not going to work, so I'm going to keep an eye on the fuel there. Okay, and we'll take it there. So about 3,300 meters per second in orbital velocity. And separation. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know what that sound was. Okay, kill rotation. Um, let me get the RCS on. And, well, let's see. Ignition. Oh, shoot. That was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I thought we were going to stage the engines and fire them. But no, we did something completely different. We staged off the tank. Okay, let's try that again. And some other staging keeps happening when I don't activate any staging, so I don't understand that at all. Okay, SAS on, throttle up, ignition, and launch. And yep, sort of a power slide thing going. Okay, and that'll do for now. Alright, separation. Okay. Uh, and again, what's with the... I did not stage anything just there. I'm going to activate engine, activate engine, RCS, kill rotation, and point prograde, hopefully. Uh, maybe we should use the engines for that. I don't know what mode they're in. Well, I think they're in the triple mode, but yeah, okay. It doesn't seem like the... RCS can handle this. Okay, well the engines can at least. Turn off the RCS. They do have throttling, I think. Or... Well, some form of throttling, yeah. Oh, there's only one ignition though. Hmm. That's that's a bit of a trouble. The fact that there's only one ignition on these means that we can't use it for a translunar injection or something like that. That would be inconvenient. I do want to and we need to pitch up much more. This is our high thrust mode after all. We need some time with the low thrust mode. And again I hear an ignition that I don't know what's going on. Maybe this is why I didn't... I don't know. Something, Something's weird going on. Something weird is going on, so... Be apprised of that if you use this. Some of the kerosene is used for the RCS system, though. I hope... Oh, it's already used that. Shoot. This... Uh, the space plane needs to have a lower priority than the tank. We can't just go straight to the high efficiency mode because we still need the high thrust in order to carry the tank up. Okay, switching modes. So now we're on the less thrust mode, but we're basically at 1G right now. So my main question is, when we get through this, will we have enough to transfer to the moon? Could this do a lunar flyby mission? If launched by the Orion carrier plane. That's what we're looking for here. And... I think maybe, but again, we don't have enough ignitions on these. It is... dependent on having more ignitions with the RD-704s.
But then, then again, presumably they were reusable engines. On the other hand, they're probably reusable with some maintenance involved. So this much works, but um, coming back into the atmosphere, I have no idea. And um, possibly not. I don't even know if the control surfaces work right now. Seems very well balanced. The pitch is right in the middle there. The space plane itself only has a little bit of fuel, so it's probably only for a lunar flyby. No, no real orbit could probably be done. But it would be interesting. It's got nothing in the bay, though. Okay, well, that's orbit here. 3,500 meters per second remaining, so that can transfer to the moon, again, given some more ignition. Um, and then the RCS would be able to bring it back, though whether it could survive a return from the moon is a whole other story. Um, but yeah, right now it's without payload, but even if we put payload in the bay, considering we've got 400 meters per second more than we need to transfer to the moon, it shouldn't be too bad. And maybe the payload is some fuel, who knows. So it could like swing by the moon and plop off a satellite and the satellite again to orbit around the moon or something like that. That's a possibility. But now that uh, we've seen how much Delta V it has in orbit given a launch with the Orion carrier plane, I am going to see whether the Orion carrier plane is recoverable with the extra jet engines that we've put. So we got to 3,300 meters per second orbital velocity and we'll stop in the same place with the Orion carrier plane, but this time follow the Orion carrier plane back down. Okay. One more time. SAS on. Throttle is up. Ignition. And launch. Okay. And shutting down there now. Please tell me we have oxygen. Yes, we do. Okay. Separation. All right. Now, now we should be okay, right? Well, always tries to pitch down here, but... I should have action grouped the jet engines, though. Ah, uh, oh. I probably shouldn't have activated that engine. Whoops. Okay. And we still get weird sounds. Well, now we're a bit imbalanced. We've lost one engine on the left side there. Now, the... Vertical stabilizers should handle the fact that we are missing an engine in terms of when we light the engines. Also, the other control surfaces. But, yeah, whether it's going to work out well before the vertical stabilizers are effective, that I don't know. Uh, well, it seems to be a bit imbalanced here. I thought I had fixed it earlier. Apparently not. Center of mass and center of lift are apparently not good. Oh. Yeah. Well, there goes all the jet engines. <laughs> uh, anyway, for now, I'll leave the Orion carrier plane fixes for later. Uh, for now, the max space plane is working fine, and I'll link it in the video description with the tank this time. Uh, I mean, it's working fine except for re-entry. We don't have any idea whether it's going to work right in re-entry. That's a separate issue. But yeah, uh, cargo bay is there. That's fine. And we had briefly seen the RCS puffing earlier. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.